Hey everyone, welcome to the channel. Today we're traveling through time to uncover some seriously wild historical facts. You know, the kind of stuff they probably didn't teach you in school. We're talking wars against birds, dancing plagues, and jokes that are older than, well, pretty much everything you can think of. History is often presented as this big, serious textbook full of dates and names. But when you dig a little deeper, you realize it's actually full of these bizarre, hilarious, and sometimes just plain unbelievable stories. So buckle up, because we're about to explore 15 fascinating facts that prove the past is anything but boring. Let's get to it. Let's kick things off with a war that sounds like it's straight out of a Monty Python sketch. The Great Emu War of 1932. Australia actually went to war with emus. Thousands of emus were wreaking havoc on farmers' crops. The military was called in, armed with machine guns. The emus actually won. They used their speed to dodge bullets, leaving the army defeated and embarrassed. Let's talk about Cleopatra, the last active ruler of ancient Egypt. Cleopatra lived closer to the moon landing in 1969 than to the Great Pyramid of Giza. The Great Pyramid was completed around 2560 BC, while Cleopatra lived from 69 to 30 BC. That's over two and a half thousand years apart. The moon landing happened only about 69 years ago. It's a mind-blowing reminder of how vast history is. Now let's talk about a war that makes the Emu War look like an epic saga. The Anglo-Zanzibar War of 1896 holds the record for the shortest war in history, clocking in at a whopping, wait for it, 38 to 45 minutes. Yes, you heard that right. Less time than it takes to watch an episode of your favorite sitcom. The conflict erupted between Britain and Zanzibar, an island off the coast of East Africa, over who would rule the island. The British, with their superior firepower, launched a bombardment of the Zanzibari Palace, and within less than an hour, the Sultan surrendered. Talk about a quick resolution. All right, get ready for this one, because it's truly bizarre. In 1518, the city of Strasbourg, now in France, was struck by a mysterious illness known as the Dancing Plague. Imagine this, hundreds of people, seemingly possessed, dancing uncontrollably in the streets for days, even weeks on end. Some even danced themselves to death from exhaustion, heart attacks, or strokes. Theories about the cause of this strange phenomenon range from mass hysteria to ergot poisoning, a fungus that can grow on rye bread and cause hallucinations. Whatever the cause, the Dancing Plague of 1518 remains one of history's most baffling medical mysteries. Let's move on to a more glamorous mystery, the Eiffel Tower. Now, when Gustav Eiffel designed this iconic structure, he included a little something for himself, a secret apartment at the very top. This wasn't your average bachelor pad, it was a cozy, soundproofed space where Eiffel could escape the hustle and bustle of Parisian life and entertain guests like Thomas Edison. Today, the apartment is open to the public, offering a glimpse into the life of the man who gave Paris its most recognizable landmark. It's a reminder that even the grandest structures can hold hidden secrets. Really ancient. Okay, time for a little humor break. We all know your mom jokes, right? They might seem like a modern invention, but believe it or not, the oldest recorded your mom joke is over 3,500 years old. Archaeologists discovered this ancient gem on a Babylonian tablet, proving that even our ancestors enjoyed a good, or should I say bad, mom joke. The joke itself is pretty tame by today's standards, but hey, it's still funny to think that people have been making fun of moms for thousands of years. It just goes to show that some things never go out of style. Let's talk about Napoleon Bonaparte, the French military leader who conquered most of Europe. He's often depicted as being short, right? Well, here's the thing. Napoleon wasn't actually short. The myth of his height likely stems from a difference in measurement systems and some good old-fashioned propaganda. French inches were slightly longer than British inches, so when Napoleon's height was converted, it made him appear shorter than he actually was. In reality, Napoleon was around 5'6 or 5'7, which was average height for a man in France at the time. So next time you see a caricature of Napoleon looking diminutive, remember, it's just a historical inaccuracy. Prepare to have your mind blown again because we're going all the way back to ancient Greece for this one. 
You know those ubiquitous vending machines we see everywhere today? Well, the first vending machine wasn't dispensing sodas and candy bars, but holy water. That's right, in the first century AD, a Greek inventor named Hero of Alexandria created a device that dispensed holy water when a coin was inserted. It's considered one of the earliest examples of a vending machine, proving that the desire for convenient snacks, or in this case, holy water, is a tale as old as time. All right, buckle up for this one because it's a sticky situation. In 1919, Boston experienced a disaster unlike any other, the Great Molasses Flood. Imagine this, a massive tank holding 2.3 million gallons of molasses, used for making rum and other products, suddenly burst, unleashing a wave of sticky goo that surged through the streets at 35 miles per hour. The flood caused widespread damage, killing 21 people and injuring 150 others. The cleanup was a nightmare, with molasses sticking to everything and the air thick with the smell of sweet decay. It's a bizarre and tragic reminder that even the sweetest things can have devastating consequences. Let's talk about a war that makes the Hundred Years' War look like a minor squabble. The longest war in recorded history lasted for an astonishing 335 years, and get this, had no casualties. This war, known as the 335 Years' War, was fought between the Netherlands and the Isles of Scilly, a small archipelago off the coast of England. It officially began in 1651 and ended, somewhat accidentally, in 1986. The conflict started with a naval battle during the English Civil War, but then fizzled out, with neither side formally surrendering. It wasn't until centuries later that the two sides signed a peace treaty, finally putting an end to the bloodless war. Let's fast forward to the 19th century and talk about a woman who was way ahead of her time, Ada Lovelace. She's considered by many to be the first computer programmer. Born in 1815, Lovelace was a brilliant mathematician who recognized the potential of Charles Babbage's analytical engine, a mechanical general-purpose computer that was never built. Lovelace wrote what is considered to be the first algorithm intended to be processed by a machine, making her a pioneer in the field of computer science. Her work laid the foundation for the digital age we live in today. Ready for another ancient joke? This time, it's the classic knock-knock joke. You might think this is a relatively recent form of humor, but believe it or not, the oldest known knock-knock joke dates back to the 5th century. It was found in a collection of Latin writings and, like the your mom joke, is pretty tame by today's standards. But hey, it's still amazing to think that people have been telling this type of joke for over 1,500 years. Let's dive into the world of naval warfare for a moment. The first successful submarine attack took place during the American Revolutionary War. In 1776, a one-man submersible called the Turtle, designed by David Bushnell, attempted to attach a time bomb to a British warship in New York Harbor. The mission was unsuccessful, but it marked a turning point in naval warfare, demonstrating the potential of submarines in combat. It's a reminder that even in the midst of revolution, innovation never sleeps. Let's talk about human ingenuity and resilience. The oldest known prosthetic dates back to ancient Egypt and is over 3,000 years old. It's a wooden toe that was discovered on the foot of a mummy. This incredible find suggests that prosthetic limbs have been around for much longer than we previously thought, and that people have been using technology to overcome physical challenges for millennia. It's a testament to the enduring human spirit and our ability to adapt and innovate. And finally, let's end with a story that's both revolting and historically significant. In the summer of 1858, London was hit by a truly awful event, the Great Stink. The River Thames, which flowed through the heart of the city, had become a toxic cesspool due to sewage and industrial waste. The stench was so unbearable that it halted Parliament and forced people to flee the city. The Great Stink led to major reforms in London's sanitation system, including the construction of a modern sewer network. It's a reminder that even in the face of adversity, progress is possible, and sometimes all it takes is a really, really bad smell to get things moving. Wow, we've covered a lot of ground today, from emu warfare to ancient jokes to the stinkiest river in history. History is full of surprises, isn't it? 
It's not just about dates and battles, it's about the weird, the wacky, and the downright unbelievable stories that make the past so fascinating. If you enjoyed this journey through history's most mind-blowing facts, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel for more amazing content. And be sure to let me know in the comments which facts surprised you the most. Until next